Welcome. It's lovely to see you wherever you are, what time it is where you are. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Ah, oh, it's lovely to be back. Um, please let me know where in the world you are watching from this morning. Well, it's the morning for me. <laughs> um, where you're joining us from, because I love to know. Um, so yeah, New Zealand, whoa, 11 p.m. That's amazing. Thank you so much. I feel so honored. Oh, wow. <laughs> Drinking my morning cacao. <laughs> trying to wake up I'm not usually a morning person I, I'm more of an evening night owl <laughs> welcome 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 I loved your email waiting all day oh that's so kind <laughs> thank you I love writing it's only a thing I recently I, I used to write a lot but then when I don't know if you know my story but when I got burgled in my 20s he um he stole my laptop, which had all my writings on. And I realized that one of the impacts of that is I stopped writing for a while. Um, so now I just love it. Like I just really got back into my flow and yeah, I really enjoy it. So thank you. And I love hearing that people love receiving them because it's just the most beautiful thing that people love to receive what you write. It just feels beautiful. Um, so I'm just going to give us a couple of minutes and let some more people in because it's just me this morning. So bear with me. <laughs> I'm trying to multitask and they're talking to me already. So, <laughs> um, right. So I'm just going to let you know a couple of things. So if you don't know anything about me, hi, I'm Lucy. I'm an uh, energy alchemist, galactic shaman, spiritual entrepreneur and the founder of Energetic Essence Healing. And I help women to straighten their crowns and embody the empowered, wealthy, turned on queen they were born to be by introducing you to a new way of living. Um, I was going to say breathing. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I teach you how to expand your lungs, which is a, a sign of freedom. Your lungs are freedom. Um, I see it's a new way of uh, creating, living and leading. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> um, this is a really safe space. So although I'm recording, um, the recording, you'll only see my face. You won't see anyone else. Um, so it's up to you if you want to have your cameras on or off. It makes no difference to me. To be honest, most of the time I have my eyes closed. So <laughs> when we get into the healing. Um, but yeah, know that this is a place where I want you to fill up your cup, wherever it is right now. If you're low on energy, take this. I've got loads. Like, um, and I love giving. So like fill your cup up. This is a nutritious, nourishing space and a healing space. And it's a safe space. Oh, and I won't read out your name. So if you do write something in the chat, if you feel comfortable enough to share something, then I'll never read your name. I'll just read what you say. So um got someone who I think is struggling to join. Bless them. <laughs> Hopefully they can get in. Um, but yes. Yeah. So I think that's that. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, and I ask you to take responsibility for yourself. So I am just the guide on this journey. I'm the facilitator. If it gets a bit intense for you, then, and it might do today because <laughs> it's an interesting topic. Um, if it gets a bit intense for you, I, I invite you to stay in the room, but if not, then that's cool. This is your journey, your experience. Um, <clears throat> but what I find really helps is if I tap on my collarbone, this is the, and I think it's because it helps your lungs and your heart, but, <clears throat> and if you, sorry, <clears throat> if you just tap on your collarbone and just allow, and just breathe, just breathe, breathe through it. And I do invite you to, the thing is, we're not shown, we're not taught, we're not even, in some cases, not even allowed to show our emotions, let alone feel them. And that's where a lot of our problems come from, because if we just allowed ourselves to feel the emotion in that moment, however uncomfortable it is, I understand with trauma, that's different. But if you allow yourself to feel that emotion, then you can let it go and move on. And actually, we only, let me remember, we only 
we only experience emotions for 90 seconds, right? 90 seconds. So someone says something, you get annoyed, you experience that for 90 seconds, that emotion, but it's your choice then. Everyone has a choice all the time. You might not think that in some situations, but there is a choice. You might not want to take it. But then it's your choice whether you hold on to that emotion, in which case you store that in your body somewhere, usually, and in your energy, uh, and possibly in your mind, <laughs> your lovely ego mind will be like, ah, I could build up that resentment towards that person because that's the fourth time they've done this and made me feel like this. And then like it just builds and builds and builds. Where if like, this is why I love tapping EFT. If you just tapped that out, as soon as it happened, you can, you can get on with your day because they're not really gonna care, that other person. <laughs> It's like, it's all about you at the end of the day and bringing peace to you. That's what forgiveness is. So um, if it gets too much, um, if like the feelings get too much, then I just invite you to tap or if that's even too much, just breathe. Um, but yeah, like I do invite you to feel your emotions because then you can process them and move on um, and hang out in the more fun vibes more of the time. Okay. Um, are you hydrating? <laughs> so I've got two things which are coming soon. So this year's been a bit weird for me. Like I haven't been well for like I had the flu before Christmas and I just haven't been well. I had three days in January where I felt good. And so I took last week off and I'm feeling amazing now. But it means that I haven't quite completed some things that I wanted to complete. So anyway, coming soon, I have the 21 days of tapping. I think I'm on 10 days, day 10. I'm really excited about this. So it will be um, an email every day for 21 days and there'll be an audio tapping on different topics and they'll all be less than eight minutes. There might be one that's slightly over because <laughs> um, it's quite hard for me to condense it. I struggle with that. Um, but yes, less than eight minutes. And so it can give you a boost. Like it's an audio file, so you can have it on your phone and you could just, whatever it might be, whether you need some confidence or whether you need a love boost or whatever it might be, um, you might be interested in that. That's coming soon. And then also um, I'm gonna create next Patreon community because I've had some people on my programs and people that have been speaking to me and they were like, Lucy, I would like a dose of you every week. <laughs> so I'm going to create a community where I want women to feel safe, to feel valued, seen, heard. And each week I'll do like a little, um, it'll be a cross between, you can ask me a question. So you can like write in, you know, in like the olden times when you had like agony arm papers. I don't know if they still do that. And you'd write in with your problem or your dilemma. So I will channel wisdom on that. Um, or just like, just a little bit of channeled wisdom that I've received that week um, to give you a bit of boost and inspiration and support. And the lowest tier it's going to be two pounds a month. So less than a cup of coffee. You can come and hang out with me and join me. <laughs> um, so yeah, there are two things I'm really excited about that will be coming soon. So if you do get my love letters or um, well, even on here, I will let you know when they're live. Okay, so today, oh, I'm quite excited about this one. Let's get to the healing. <clears throat> Um, we're going to be doing it on why is this not happening for me? <laughs> and I think this is a, this is just universal, this. And I think it's even, it's heightened with, um, social media. Like I've had a social media break for about six weeks and I must admit, I feel amazing <laughs> because even if you don't want to compare yourself, you still do. You really do. And even it might be in your subconscious mind that you still compare yourself. And then you're like, why is this not happening for me? Why is it happening for everyone else? Like have people that like, why is why haven't I found my person yet? I want to fall in love. Or why do I never have enough money? Or all these things. And really, it's about obsessing over the how. How is it going to happen? And the thing is, 
what what happens in the universe is that you have your desire and for me your desires are divinely given right they are a gift from god divine the universe whatever word you prefer um and the fulfillment of those desires is our gift back so what that means is they're going to move heaven and earth with you because it's a collaboration with the universe with the divine they're going to move heaven and earth which you can do anyway because you're all powerful to make your desire fulfilled but the big but of this is you've got to let go you've got to trust you've got to believe and that's where we fall down because if we start getting a like a wobble right then we can go back into old patterns. Then we can go back into, oh, I'm not worthy of this. Oh, that idea was too big. That dream was too big. Whereas actually you've just got to hold the vision and then you've got to get really good at listening. You've got to get really good at listening, not to your ego mind, but to your intuition. And that's slightly different. Like it's, a, for me, it's a slightly different frequency. Like I can tell when my ego mind is getting involved because it tends to be, it's trying to keep me safe and right. <laughs> Whereas my intuition is like, oh, Lucy, maybe you should go for a walk right now. This is a true story, actually. I'll tell you this. So <clears throat> we moved out to the country in 2020 after the first lockdown, being living in Brighton in the city. And I live in the rural countryside now. And I was trying to find a boxing class. And oh, I searched for years. But the thing is, for a year, the thing is, out here... No one has websites. <laughs> like, they literally, they. If, I'm lucky if they have a Facebook page, right? It's so. It's just the way they do it out here. <laughs> and you're lucky if someone rings you back if you if you want to hire them. So um, uh, so like so, and then my I, something happened in the morning, and I got frustrated. My husband was like, "Just go for a walk," because we're literally on the edge of the forest. So I went for a walk. Guess what? There's this guy doing kickboxing in the woods with this woman. And I'm like, oh, OK, OK, <laughs> I hear you. And then it was at a time that I could do it was really reasonably priced. And there's a little community there. And I was looking for people to meet. And so that makes no logical sense. <laughs> it makes no logical sense that I would meet someone in the forest kickboxing. <laughs> But like what my logical brain would do is like, you've got to Google it, you've got to Google it, like, and there's no websites. So there's that like listening to that guidance, which is like, oh, go for a walk or I don't know, like watch something, email that person taking action on the human plane, but it might not be action that's on your to-do list. That's what I'm trying to say, I feel. Okay, so... Let me just have a look. Mm, the other thing. <laughs> um, yeah, so when I looked up faith in the thesaurus, the word truth came up, right? And I loved this because I was like, the truth is that you're all powerful and you can create whatever you want. The thing that gets in the way is you're needing to know how, because that's the ego human mind. And that's your resistance, like the how. If you can just let go and allow the universe to fill in the blanks, that's when the miracles come that blow your mind because you just like, you let it go. And also when you're in comparing yourself, why is it not happening for me? You kind of go into victim. <laughs> Hard truth there. I've been, I was there for many years. So like, I feel like I could say this. Hard truth there. You're going to victim. <clears throat> and it's like, why is it not happening for me? If you're hanging out in victim, then all your desires, dreams, and everything you want is hanging out on the frequencies of bliss, love, joy, fun. And so you're a complete mismatch in frequencies. Whereas if you can, even if you've not manifested it yet, created it yet in your life, if you can get yourself into a frenzy about it, maybe visualize it, like talk yourself up, when I've ever been really struggling, um, one of the things I would do is I would just have these little chats with myself. I think Abraham Hicks calls them uh, rampages. And I just talk to myself, like, come on, Lucy, you've got this work. <laughs> like, be my own cheerleader. And when I do that, I would feel 
the lifting of my frequency. Like you can, when you tune into your beautiful bodies, you can feel your energy shift. And you, everyone has the ability to do this. Like even, you know, if someone's had an argument, if two people have had an argument and you walk in that room, you know, something's just happened. And it's that, it's that intuition, that guidance, like that we need to listen to more rather than comparing ourselves and like, why is it not happening for me? Right, and the last thing before we get into it <clears throat> is, um, oh, it's popped off the bottom. Uh, we're gonna be working, we're not gonna be working with a goddess today. Um, we're gonna be working with Archangel Uriel. Um, I've not worked with them before. So another thing I want to note is I think angels are gender neutral because they're an energy. They're not, um, like ma male and female is a like human thing <laughs> again human like human thing on this thing but if you're not in this physical form then you're an energy your consciousness um so archangel uriel is an angel of truth wisdom and the faith the faith to seek these things so the faith to seek the truth and the wisdom that you're amazing and can create anything you want Okay, so get comfortable, my loves. I'm just gonna, I've got like some messages in the chat. So <clears throat> I'm just going to have a look. That's exactly why I'm here. Compared my Instagram to someone else's and feeling sick to my stomach. Oh, love, yes. Like, it's just something that we do. I really hope this tapping will help with this um, and this little session. And then, um, I will send out the recording so you can listen to this anytime you want. Keep it for yourself anytime that you go and do that. Um, but just coming back to the thing that you are amazing. And there's also, oh yeah, I do want to add this. There's also the thing of divine timing, you know, and we can get so caught up on wanting something now when it's not actually the right time, it's not in our highest good to have it right now because we're not ready. Or if you're, if it involves other people, they have free will and they might not be ready yet. So I've got a classic example of this. When we wanted to move out west, I couldn't find a house. I was like, why, why am I not finding a house? I can do, I can do this like this. I can create, I can manifest whatever I want. Why is it not happening? But the house we were going to rent, the people in it hadn't moved out yet. And so the universe or source divine was waiting on them to move out before we could get our dream house to rent. And now we've bought. So like if there's other people in the scenario, they've got their own timelines as well. So you just, again, got to keep the faith. And I, I pray every day. If I'm really trying to create something, I pray every day as well like just clearing out anything that's resistance anything that's blocking and tap as well <clears throat> okay right just a bit more water <clears throat> so i think um i'm just going to jump straight in so we're going to start on top of the head <clears throat> if you've not tapped along with me before just repeat what I pre repeat, <laughs> no, just repeat what I say <laughs> and <clears throat> just follow me. I tap on different points, which are meridian lines. So instead of like acupuncture using needles, we use, we just tap. And these different parts relate to different organs in the body. And there was something else I wanted to mention, but I'm not sure if I remember. No, nope. okay, it's gone. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> sometimes I get really frustrated and I feel so disempowered because I don't know why things or this fill in the blank is not happening for me I mean I feel like I'm trying all the time I feel like I'm taking action all the time Sometimes, yeah. 
And sometimes I feel like the divine or the universe, they don't care or they don't see me or they've got lost trying to fulfill my desire. All this disempowerment, all this doubt. <clears throat> oh, I could feel that one. <sighs> all this disappear. Oh, sorry, all this um, doubt and fear, and all this disappointment. That was the word that wanted to come through. I choose to acknowledge it all and allow allow yourself to feel it, right? Because we're going to move it, shift it. I allow myself to feel it and acknowledge all this disappointment, hurt, doubt, and disempowerment. And I choose to release it. I choose to let it all go. I choose to clear it out on all levels of consciousness. Oh, the collective and my own. So that's when we do it for the universal collective for everyone else. My brilliant, beautiful mind my nervous system, my heart, my ovaries and womb, the source of creation, and my sacral chakra, which is housed in your womb. And even if you don't have, if you've had a hysterectomy, the uh, energetic imprint is still there. So effectively, it's still there energetically. <clears throat> um, on an energetic level, and a cellular level two. I'm choosing to clear out all this sadness and disappointment about things not happening for me across all time and space, dimensions, realities, and realms. Sometimes I get really down. Oh, I can feel my eyes starting to water. <sighs> and I find it really hard. If your eyes start watering or you burp or anything like that, that's good. It means the energy's moving. <clears throat> um, and I just feel so sad because I feel so disheartened. because I feel like I'm trying really hard to create the life that I want, to create the life I desire. And then I look at all these other people on social media and they have what I want. I think it's so unfair. <laughs> Why not me? <laughs> and then I start to feel resentment. And that feels really uncomfortable. All this comparison. All this resentment. Oh. I choose to acknowledge it all. I choose to forgive myself for it. I choose to forgive myself for comparing my beautiful, unique self and my own unique journey to anyone else in this universe. And I'm sorry that sometimes I forget how amazing I truly am and how powerful I really am. 
and how worthy and deserving I am. I'm so open to feeling worthy and deserving of anything I choose to create, even the wild stuff. I'm giving myself permission right now to have faith, belief and trust in myself, first and foremost, and the divine source universe. I'm choosing to see the world through a different lens. The lens of empowerment. The lens that I am a badass queen who can create whatever she wants. The lens of the lens of infinite possibility. Mm, and just like, so even when I say those words, infinite possibility, like the frequency of them is out of this world. Like words have power. That's why I invite you to speak if you can, because women have, we've spent lifetimes of being um, silenced. So it's very powerful to speak this, but it also carries a vibration which breaks stuff up. Um, but yeah, like those words, infinite potential, infinite possibilities. It, it, like when I tune into those words, it like I feel the expansion. So what I'm trying to say is like, please step into that expansion. You step into that expansion. You know what that looks like for you. <clears throat> and I'm choosing right now to... Turn away from social media in this moment and go and play in the world, in the universe of infinite possibility. I'm going to play in the fields where miracles and dreams happen. I'm going to suspend in this moment my ego mind my logical mind, my need to know how, <laughs> how to make this happen. Oh, even though I can feel like I've gone, whoop. <laughs> I'm opening myself up and I'm giving myself permission <laughs> to not know. Oh my gosh, that feels so scary. <laughs> to not be in control and that's what this comes down to there's a part of me a beautiful part of me that may be big or small that for whatever reason feels like she needs to be in control and so this part of me that feels like she needs to be in control. I'm offering it up to the divine, to the higher states of consciousness, infinite intelligence, God, the universe. And I'm gonna allow myself, I love the vibration of that word too, Allow myself, feel you soften into it, to let go. I'm going to allow myself to trust that it will all work out and that my desires, my dreams will be fulfilled in ways I can't even imagine right now. Again. <laughs> that feels so tingly on my body. 
And I know that when I hang out in my body, when I embody my beliefs that I am worthy, I am deserving, I can trust in this invisible force because I have experienced miracles before. I just sometimes forget that because of my ego mind doesn't want me to remember. Because sometimes it means putting on my big girl pants and taking some different action, which might be big and scary, but the rewards are out of this world. And that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here on planet Earth, having a human experience right now as a divine being is to create my own heaven here on Earth. Whatever that looks like for me, whatever my desires are. But the thing is, I've got to let people help. <laughs> I don't need to do it all on my own. There's angels, galactic beings, fairies, ancestors, angels. I can't remember if I mentioned them. <laughs> the divine. There's a whole entourage of people that maybe I can't see right now, but if I ask them to show themselves, they will. And people in my, in my current reality who want to help me co-create my dream life. Oh, and that feels so open so optimistic, so exciting to know that I don't have to do it on my own, that I can invite other people to help me make my dreams a reality. As I deeply and completely love, <clears throat> honour, accept, respect, and value myself. Oh, I'm going to do that again. I really value myself. I want you to tap with your eyes closed. Again, I really love, appreciate, and value myself. Oh, yes. I want you to feel it in your heart. I really love, value, and appreciate myself. Perfect. Three's the magic number in mysticism. And I am worthy and deserving of all I desire. I am worthy and deserving of all I desire. I am worthy and deserving of all I desire. And so it is. Mm, I need to give myself a hug. You do whatever you want, but take a deep breath in. Mm, and then let it go. Oh, I don't know why my body just needs some love. <laughs> a beautiful body. Our oh, bodies are amazing. Okay, my love. So <clears throat> now we're going to transition into the meditation. So I would invite you to close your eyes. If you need to take a couple more breaths there just to resettle your energy, then by all means do. I'm just going to take some water. Getting me slurping. <laughs> mm, yeah, take a deep breath in and fill it into your beautiful big heart. And let it go and just what I love to do is just bring my awareness bring your attention down to your beautiful bottoms your beautiful sitting bones mm. 
So your pelvis, in my opinion, is your throne, the seat of your femininity, if you like, the seat of the feminine power. And just sit on your throne, claim it, claim your sitting bones, <clears throat> ground into them, root into them, take up space. And take another deep breath in for me and let it go. And what I would love for you to do is just imagine that you're floating in, where should we go? The clouds. You're floating through the most beautiful clouds. And they're like little white fluffy cotton candy clouds. And they smell this like clean air. It feels so clean and crisp. And just you allow yourself to receive this beautiful clean air up here as you float on this beautiful cloud, looking down on planet Earth, on Mama Earth, and you feel so serene, you feel so calm, and it gives you an opportunity to just be in your beautiful body and bring peace to your wonderful mind and just allow it to kind of let go and wind down and tap into your intuition, tap into your playfulness, tap into the love that resides within you because you're divine and all the divine is, is love. So <clears throat> connect with that divine spark within you and allow it to just almost warm your body so you know when you feel warm and your muscles relax like if you have a hot bath or if you've ever been blessed with a hot stone massage <laughs> that's amazing allow your muscles to just relax there is nothing that you need to do here this is your moment to nourish you mind body soul spirit as you energy, as you float on this beautiful cloud and you feel so warm, the sun shining and it's just warming your skin and it feels so beautiful. And you feel so at peace and calm here. And then all of a sudden, this beautiful angel with these amazing, immense, pearly white wings, and there's just this glowing light around them comes towards you. And you recognize this angel as Archangel Uriel. Oh, and they are magnificent in their presence. And you feel just <clears throat> inspired and in awe because you know that the the same Archangel Uriel, the magic that they have is within you. And in this moment, you feel so powerful. You feel you could create worlds, let alone create what you'd love here on planet Earth. It's all possible if you tap into <clears throat> the infinite possibilities that are there for you, which does mean suspending your logic and your ego mind. And if a little bit of fear comes up around that, because we're taught to rely on our logic, then acknowledge that fear. Oh, that might be a bit scary. And then see, let it go. Just let it go. See it like just place it on another cloud and gently blow it in the other direction. That can just go. Mother Earth will take that and turn it into something of higher frequency than fear. And then as Archangel Uriel lands on your beautiful cloud softly and you kind of wonder how they do it so well to not rock the cloud. You sit up from where you've been lovely, lazingly lying on the cloud and he embraces you with their beautiful wings. Oh, and you feel so safe and secure in this moment and seen and valued and heard and appreciated. And you realize the uniqueness that is you, only you bring to this world, this universe in fact. 
And as you feel that safety and security, your root chakra, which is at the bottom of your spine, your perineum, and it's a ruby red color, and it's like a, a vortex of energy that's a bright red color. You feel that vortex of energy become faster and more vibrant as the more you settle, the more you rest, the more you feel safe. And then it's like this bubble up of the truth from the root chakra. The truth that you are all powerful and the truth that you must remember you can create anything you want in the time that you want. And as you have this belief, this idea, this notion, your beautiful angel wings pop out. Oh, and they're so magnificent. And again, it just makes you feel so safe and seen and heard and listened to. And as you sit there with Archangel Uriel, you can feel the love emanating from them to you and how much respect, how amazing they think that you are doing and they adore you and they say if ever you need help or support ask because they cannot do anything this stands for any beings at all they cannot the ones you can see or not they they can't help if you don't ask them so in this moment, Archangel Uriel, who is of truth, wisdom and faith, what would you like to ask them to support you in your creation? And then listen. Listen with your body not necessarily with your ears. Listen to what they say. They have a message for you. But if they don't, then that's welcome too. It might come later, it might not come. All is welcome here. Mm. <clears throat> and just before Archangel Uriel leaves, was along with the message, they also have a gift for you, which they lovingly give to you. And that's for you to cherish and keep whatever it might be, might be a word or a message. And then with this huge grin on your face and your cup feeling overflowing. I like to imagine a cup, a goblet, a beautiful goblet in my room space, in my hips that's overflowing with this angelic energy now, just ready. And it's rippling out. It's like flowing into every part of your human being. Oh, it feels so juicy and good. It feels exciting because you know that you can create anything that you desire now. You have that courage, you have that strength, you have that power. So with a cheeky smile, Archangel Uriel flies off with their magnificent wings <clears throat> into the sun and you're left on the cloud with your wings open knowing that you can embody this love and this safeness and this belief and this trust anytime you choose, it's within you. And with that and your heart full, you and your beautiful wings fly back down to earth, making your way through the sun, through the clouds, into back into your beautiful body, 
keeping your eyes closed. I want you to be in your beautiful body. Come back into it. Maybe notice your beautiful sitting bones, appreciating the chair or the bed or whatever it is that you're sitting on, just supporting you as always. Mm, and when you feel ready, but only when you feel ready and in your own time, you can open your eyes. Okay, my lovelies, if anyone feels they would like to share anything, then please do in the chat. Like I said, I would never, I don't read out your name, but if you just want to float off on the cloud, then you're welcome to do that. This is your experience. I'm just the guide. Um, and I would suggest, depending on where you are in the world, uh, maybe just... Uh, if you if you can ground so what I mean by that is if you have a garden or access to a bit of grass or green I would just go out there and just stand on mother earth mama earth and appreciate being here on planet earth right now um because it is a privilege to, to there's not enough uh souls <laughs> there's not enough human beings being reincarnated on that side of the world I mean on this side of the world there's uh, overpopulation but there's not enough uh, souls so it's actually quite a privilege and honor to come to planet earth uh, even if it can be challenging it is a challenging planet because it's one of the densest so it is um it can be challenging um but yeah uh, go on to grass give thanks to mama earth and i'd recommend a herbal tea as well that to just bring you into your beautiful bodies um and uh oh thank you lucy that was just what i needed and such perfect timing oh you're welcome i'm saying oh yeah like i said divine timing <laughs> it's always people always get what they need the way right time. my gift was a bright ball representing hope oh my gosh i love that for me to keep and remember yes keep keep the hope remember the hope always hope there's always hope even in the i can't remember there's a saying like even in the darkest, um, I don't know, darkest times, you can find a light switch or something like that. Oh, I needed it. Everything you said resonated with me, especially that I have to ask the universe first. Yes. <laughs> and you have to be clear as well. <laughs> no mixed messages. <laughs> um, to um, other people also have their agenda. And how is ego thank you Lucy. you're welcome <laughs> oh thank you so much everyone who is joining me live today and anyone that watches the replay and um you're welcome hopefully i get to see you next month it is in the evening then 7 p.m my time i'm in england london time um but i always do the recording so if you register i will send out the recording Thank you for sharing your knowledge with us. Ah, oh, thank you. Like, I think it's more of like, um, it's not mine. <laughs> I don't know where it comes from. That's a lie, actually. Like, it comes from all different angels and beings and all kinds of things. <laughs> I think if they tried to impart all their knowledge on me, my brain would explode. <laughs> my consciousness is too small my human consciousness um thank you love it oh i love you thank you thank you everyone i've had a lovely morning <laughs> i'm gonna go and have a herbal tea and sit in my garden for a bit <laughs> hopefully i can cuddle my cat if he wants it <laughs> thank you very much that was lovely you're welcome right my darlings hopefully i'll see you next month um but if not um look after yourselves and yeah Feel the love. <laughs> Bye. Bye for now.